of the American people. And we've got an outstanding team here of folks who uh, work every single day to make sure that we're doing everything we can to fulfill that responsibility. And that means that our entire government, our law enforcement and homeland security professionals, our troops, our diplomats, our intelligence personnel are all working together. It means working with state and local partners to disrupt terrorist attacks, to make our borders more secure, respond to natural disasters, and make our immigration system more effective and fair. Now, addressing any one of these challenges is a tall order. Addressing all of them at once is a monumental task. But that's what the dedicated men and women of the Department of Homeland Security do every day. And today I'm proud to announce my choice to lead them. An outstanding public servant who I've known and trusted for years, Mr. Jay Johnson. Now, we are, of course, enormously grateful to Secretary Janet Napolitano. Uh, Janet couldn't be here today. She's already made her move to her new position in sunny California, overseeing uh, the higher education system uh, in that great state. And I know that she's going to do an outstanding job there uh, with the incredible young people that are in our largest state. But uh, we all deeply appreciate the terrific job that she did over the last four and a half years. I want to thank uh, Rand Bears for his service and for stepping in uh, as acting secretary after Janet left. Thanks in no small part to Janet's leadership, her team. We've done more to protect our homeland against those who wish to do us harm. We've strengthened our borders. We've taken steps to make sure our immigration system better reflects our values. We've helped thousands of Americans recover from hurricanes and tornadoes, floods and wildfires. And we've worked to clean up a massive oil spill in the Gulf, as well as address a flu pandemic. In Jay Johnson, we have the right person to continue this important work. From the moment I took office, Jay was an absolutely critical member of my national security team. And he demonstrated again and again the qualities that will make him a strong secretary of Homeland Security. Jay has a deep understanding of the threats and challenges facing the United States. As, Pentagon's, as the Pentagon's top lawyer, uh, he helped design and implement many of the policies that have kept our country safe, including our success in di uh, dismantling the core of Al-Qaeda in the Fatah. When I directed my national security team to be more open and transparent about how our policies uh, work and how we make decisions, especially when it comes to preventing terrorist attacks, Jay was one of the leaders who spoke eloquently about how we meet today's threats in a way that are consistent with our values, including the rule of law. Jay also knows that meeting these threats demands cooperation and coordination across our government. He's been there in the Situation Room, at the table, in moments of decision, working with leaders from a host of agencies to make sure everyone is rowing in the same direction. And he's respected across our government as a team player, somebody who knows how to get folks who don't always agree to work towards a common goal. Jay has experience leading large, complex organizations as a member of the Pentagon's senior management team, first under uh, Bob Gates and then under Leon Panetta. He helped oversee the work of more than 3 million military and civilian personnel across the country around the world. And I think it's fair to say that both uh, former Secretaries Gates uh, and Panetta uh, will attest to the incredible professionalism that Jay brings to the job and the bipartisan approach that appropriately he takes when it comes to national security.